so here we go with another battle report. This is Colette versus Lady J. Uh, 35 soul stones. Our strategy is turf war. And for schemes, we have take prisoner, deliver a message, claim jump, detonate charges, and vendetta. So for the Lady J crew, who do we have, Andrew? Well, of course, Lady J. The scales of justice, we're taking the judge, a death dancer, and three death dancers. Okay. And for Colette, we are taking Colette, three dubs, Cassandra, Steam Arachnid Swarm, Soulstone Mine, uh, and Angelica. So, 35 soul stones, and let's see how. So, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Malifo battle report. Today, uh, Andrew's taking Lady J for the first time against Colette, and you can see the first turn underway here, doing a little pregame move there with Angelica. And then uh, we're basically just lining up for the first turn. So, Andrew's going to spend this first turn uh, moving all of his guys up to that gallows. He does cap the. Uh, Turf war point there in the corner. Uh, something I forget to do in the first turn, but uh, I'll, I'll get back around to it. <laughs> so anyway, um, not a whole lot happening here. Just some doves moving into position. So I'm trying to spread out. Andrew's getting ready to really just kind of set up his stronghold in the middle of the board there. So uh, trying to figure out what to do with Cassandra. I screw it up. I'm like, wait a minute, don't go yet. I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, uh, the, you know, next act, please, and move, I'm sorry, bring him an encore and move Colette up to get into position, um, because I'm running, this is my first turn trap here, uh, getting ready to do that, and, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes, this is, uh, this is going to be a really good game, I think, um, I didn't really like the strategy or the scheme pools for Colette, but I wanted to play her again, get her on the board, uh, and Andrew's just feeling feeling his way around with Lady Justice, so uh, this may be my only chance to uh, try to out brawl a brawly crew here. So we'll see how it goes. You can see um, Cassandra moving around the board there, just kind of shifting people around. She uh, borrows Colette's tactical action to to uh, practice production, and uh, now it's time for Colette to go. So Colette is, this is going to be the important part of the round because Judge is hiding there behind those gallows, and he is my vendetta target with the bugs. So Colette's going to also practice production to get her within eight of Judge. Okay, so now I'm within eight. I'm going to do some uh, switchery roo times here. So I'm going to do a presto changeo to... Uh, move the judge closer to that erected swarm uh, and then i believe i'm going to presto changeo again this time with the uh, uh moving myself with the dove put the dove up on the stage move myself over there to where judge is and then it's going to be spider eaten time uh soon after this so just setting up judge for this attack which is going to be pretty nuts all right, so now we got the bugs against the judge. Okay. Uh, so bugs are going to attack the judge. This is a stack five against defense. Uh, so here we go. First attack. Here comes black joke. I like. So six plus five. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, sure, we'll cheat it. So go to 12 plus 5, so 17. 17. I'll tie your 17. Okay, so, so triple negative yeah. or double negative. Yeah. Um, so I, I get a plus on. Are you hard to win? Uh, I am hard to win and hard to kill. Okay, so, and all that so this would go to four cards, but I'm over half health, so you say that three cards and I declare the onslaught trigger. Okay. So three card damage. Moderate and weak. Oh, red Okay, Yikes. so that's, uh, before I got a hold of seven damage. Seven? Right, because I'm two, four, five. Hold on one second. Okay. Uh, so, and then, uh, this is the onslaught attack. So I, oh, I forgot to show that. Red Joker, the damage flip, a double negative. So, uh, this is the onslaught attack. So now, the so stat five against defense four. 
like, like, the test is kind of Oh, gosh. So, uh, this is going to be, so I'm at 15, you're at 7, this is a straight damage flip. How much, oh, but I'm plus, because I'm old strength in numbers, so, uh, moderate is 5 or 3? Right? This is a 2 3 5. So three numbers, and this mark is yeah. a six. How much health does he have left? Six spaces away. Oh, God. I should not attack this dude anymore. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to attack this dude anymore. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so that's turn. So end of turn one, uh, Andrew has one counter scored and most of his guys there. The judge is on one health from some lucky flips from the Steam Arachnid Swarm. And this is what the board state looks like. Um, yeah, scary, scary. Okay, so we'll see you at turn two. So Andrew wins initiative for turn two, and then he figures out that I've got uh, vendetta on judge so he uses judge's ability to draw a bunch of cards and then kill himself <laughs> and then not a whole lot else happens this turn um we do end up at the end of the turn colette is gonna uh, work her way around the board you can see i've kind of we've already kind of moved some of the pieces here um she's gonna end up heading over to lady justice uh doing an attack on her and then burying her uh, this forces Andrew to put up a scheme marker later in the turn, and uh, he's trying to uh, get back. But we both have one point capped, and so that's really the main gist of turn two. Okay. But uh, that was, we get one point each for uh, turn four, and we're going to go into turn three. Yeah, we'll go with Lady J. Okay. Uh, we'll attack your bird okay. with my great score. Yeah. So just a second. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There, that yeah, that was the guy that was buried. He comes back from unbury. You got to mine the dice there. That one of those dice there is holding up that death marshal because the balance is so weird on that particular model that uh, it gets a little confusing. You can see Cassandra sneaking up, sneaking around the board there, just and uh, she moves Cassandra into position. I'm trying to kill this death marshal with Cassandra. So I'm waiting until later in the turn to do that. Scales of Justice, meanwhile, uh, doing some attacks on Colette. So Andrew's doing a really interesting thing here where he's forcing Colette to try to cheat fate uh, just to do a bunch of chip damage to her. And it's a pretty good strategy, actually, um, considering you don't want her to use her defense trigger and bury and, you know, distract a bunch of people again. Uh, meanwhile, Cassandra is going to go there. She'll... Uh, move Colette out of the way with some practice production, and then she's just going to blow fire and uh, kill that Death Marshal. So that's going to be the end of turn three. The end of turn? I get a point, uh, you get a point. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, Okay, so we are on to turn four now, and uh, the, it's a tie game, uh, but it's time to try to get some of those schemes going, and uh, I believe at this time, uh, I believe I get initiative first. Uh, there are some duels that happen. Uh, it's mainly just, uh, at this point, I'm still, um, here we go with uh, the the arachnid swarm who's gonna get into this death marshal and again with the the minus defense the onslaught trigger and um the strength in numbers to give it the plus flips you see it made short work of that death marshal flips that uh, uh strategy marker to neutral and then nimbles over um for the free action and then caps that objective so super strong output by uh, that Arachnid Swarm. Very, very strong model, and it's great in Colette because it gives Colette some legitimate hitting power. So, uh, turn is going to continue on here. Uh, Andrew is, he's in a bit of trouble because he keeps losing Death Marshals and uh, is trying to score from behind, but now here comes Lady J, and Lady J is going to leap over to uh, right in between Colette and Cassandra, and nearly kills uh Colette uh, cheats in a red joker, but then I um, I soul stone mitigate to severe and then use my defensive trigger. Uh, so really, really strong activation, but I played through. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yep, that happens. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Uh, 16? Yeah, that's, that's fake. Oh, okay. uh, well, that was uh, pretty gross, though. <laughs> I actually thought I was gonna kill her off that red joker, but the soul stone. Well, you're out of stones, though. So. Yeah, so keeping Colette alive in the middle of that was pretty clutch. Um, she's just gonna disappear. There's gonna be. It looks like Cassandra is trying to do some damage uh, to um, the Death Marshal up there. I think she's largely unsuccessful. And doing that with her um, breathe fire ability uh, so not a lot happening there um, but Andrew's still in a tough spot he's lost um, two death marshals and the judge at this point and I still have most of my crew intact um, trying to figure out where to go with Cassandra it's fine she'll just stay there she'll she'll add her finesse to make um, those poor guys on stage not be able to really hit her or Angelica before she's activated. So largely playing defense at this point. Um, and uh, we're going to see Colette come back in here. So Colette's going to come back in. She's going to hand out a bunch of distract. So this is really where the crew gets really strong. One thing I found out about Colette, playing the Colette crew, is they're very pillow-fisted. But if you have something in the crew that can at least get score one kill um that can tip the scales in your favor and it's pretty wild swing if you can get two so when the opponent models start to go down and colette can actually start 
um, taking advantage of uh, numeric superiority, uh, then she can do some things here. So she comes in, she practices productions, um, Angelica out of the way. She delivers a message to Lady Justice, scoring me another point. And um, I believe she she tried to cap the center objective by, I think, Scales of Justice just comes right back and, um, uh, and recaps. But she's, right now, she's going to do um, False Reality. And I picked the wrong target here. I put it on the Death Dancer when I was really trying to move the scales of justice out of the way, so that I could, um, so that I could uh, cheat fate without taking damage. Because Colette is pretty badly damaged at this point. I think she's rocking either three or four health at the most. Um, and so I move the Death Dancer out of the way, but it's not that important. And then just end up. Um, you can see me uh, capping that objective back to neutral, and Skills of Justice just goes back and uh, resets that back to Andrew's control. So this is, uh, and you can see, um, it looks like, uh, I'm not sure what happened. I, I, I think, cause, oh, sorry, Angelica moved uh, Cassandra down there, and she's going to suddenly doves. I make a mistake here. Um, uh, where I get my scheme trigger to put a scheme marker down, but for whatever reason I put a pigeon down. It doesn't end up making much of a difference because I just cast it a couple of times um, and then get um, some additional distracted. So uh, that's going to do it for turn four, and we are about to go into the final round here. So that's the end of turn four? Yeah, so top of turn five. So I have... Um, so I got one for deliver a message. You've got yep. one, two, three. Uh, so I get another two, one for that. Two, yep. And we go to turn five. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to win objective, uh, sorry, initiative going into the final round. Uh, and I'm thinking about what to do. I actually end up activating the steam arachnid swarm. And this is kind of a bad idea. So, uh, so walk, nimble, and then charge. Um, that final death marshal. I was like, yeah, why not try to kill that death marshal? Um, you know, then I can cap the point back to neutral. So I think it's good, but the problem is uh, I had Vendetta on the Steam Arachnid Swarm. So, uh, so Andrew is going to wisely go with uh, Lady J, leap up onto that stage, uh, and then just make very short work of the Steam Arachnid Swarm. Uh, and that's going to be a giant two-point swing, right? Because I did all this work trying not to kill Judge in the first turn. He ends up um, killing Judge, uh, denying me the first point of that scheme, and then he's going to take the Steam Arachnid Swarm and deny the second point of that scheme. Okay, so Colette's going to show up here. She's just going to cap that objective um, and then just sit tight. Um, the, the downside for Lady J going now, though, is deliver a message is still very, very feasible. And she actually happens to be within a, a friendly scheme marker, if I recall correctly. Um, but uh, Cassandra is going to go, um, I'm sorry, Death Dealer is going to deal a couple of damage to Cassandra. And uh, I'm kind of letting these go because I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, not a big deal. This thing doesn't do much damage. And then uh, Andrew pulls a fast one on me, which is uh, actually pretty cool, pretty clever. I get a one. Uh, oh, moderate. So, moderate, so another two damage. Cassandra. Okay. She's my vendetta target. Oh, she is. Yeah. <laughs> so you can so you get one. Nice. Good job. All right, so Andrew's on the board there with uh, Vendetta. I could see where his plan was really to get Judge in there and get them, everybody, into Cassandra's face. She is one of the easier people in the crew to kill these days because um, uh, she doesn't have defensive, uh, nearly as good defensive tech as everybody else does on that crew. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's going to be the main gist of turn five. Um, it's I'm just going to go back and cap uh, one more objective there with Cassandra, and um, yeah, we're just going to go to score. Really interesting game. Glad you guys uh, were able to watch. End of the game. Uh, I'm going to get 
Uh, four for this strategy. Uh, two for deliver a message, and I get zero for vendetta, right? Because the things, because the things that, yeah. Oh no no no! Because your guy died too, so it is right? zero for vendetta. It's uh, let's see. Because you have to live. If the friendly models in play, right? So so I got six. I'm at three. You got three? All right. Good game, dude. All right. Wow.